need some time away. I took a little time. I pray we gonna be alright. Okay. Tonight, MIND, the joint venture between MindMaze and Thermo Group, is presenting Communion, a gathering of pop culture, visual art, architecture, urban planning, and talks, our Wellbeing Culture Forum, coming together to create a communion, becoming one in something bigger. Okay. We're here to very much bring a different audience to the, to the um, world of arts and culture, because a lot of things that we contribute to as people from the diaspora is not very recognized in this space and today was just about bringing in the two worlds and just creating that intersection where's all the pen black girls in the building come on come on i love it this love pavilion it. of counter space led by sumaya valley for us was the starting point of really learning to listen and especially listening to the communities that are forming this city. Very often a city is built out of stones where it should be actually built out of emotions, of thoughts, of understanding, of respect. We all are born into architecture and subconsciously it also affirms our place in the world and it tells us who we are and how we need to be treated or how we are recognized. It becomes part of how we also evolve our senses of identity. And that's why hybridity is so important um, because all of us have pieces of each other inside ourselves. Yeah, we gonna be all, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, all right. Thank you so much, Serpentine, you've been sick. Woo! My name is Eni. Personally, for myself, I feel like I'm always going to be an insider and an outsider. And so you're like Nigerian, because you, in your house it's Nigerian, but then you're outside and it's like, it's different. And so it's just kind of merging both of those cultures to make something different, but just understanding that home is both places at the end of the day and just kind of keep that same identity. Two. As you can see, there are no doors. So the pavilion not only invites everybody to come here to Kensington Gardens and see it and experience it, but actually Sumaya took the pavilion to the people, to many different communities. Just because you're not connected to something else doesn't mean that that place doesn't have its own center. So maybe that's a functioning society to respect yeah. autonomy, semi-autonomy, and to create through ways that are without harm. The change will be when we start to respect people that are from a border that we've made up and I think respecting environments so you know not not dumping toxic waste in Eastern Europe or not dumping our secondhand clothing in West Africa. I think when we start to really treat people globally as a human being on an equal level that to me will be true. A lot of these areas have never related to us, has never been accessible to us. So it's amazing that we're all here together celebrating. We are bringing together architecture, urban planning, nature, music and visual culture. What they are all representing is empowerment. Hold tight, Nikolai, we see you, bro. Girls like. Girls like. Girls like. It relates back to community and heritage and the song playing Black Girls being performed in this space. It kind of feels full circle just because of what they both represent. Look, see, I got so many verses. Tithing will put them in cursive. Deep like I'm very in hearses. Preach like I'm doing up churches. I think that all of us have missed so much of this, of being able to be in physical space, being able to have spontaneous interactions with other people who we might not know. Isn't it wonderful also that we're ending the life of this pavilion with this beautiful gathering of all of you here? One more time for Sumaya Valley. Thank you very much.